So today we will be doing our first question uh, of Bode plot and we will try to understand the steps that are involved. So we uh, will learn the procedure step by step how is Bode plot drawn and before that I told you that Bode plot comprises of two uh, graphs one is called as uh, the gain plot. So if you see this graph paper you will see uh, two straight lines and the vertical axis corresponds to uh, one of them corresponds to the db decibels the x-axis is omega so the first graph of body plot comprises of decibel drawn versus omega and you might have learned this in uh, the slides that i uploaded how db is computed and the other pl plot comprises of angle pi again plotted versus omega so these two graphs collectively are known as Bode plot. So the first example is GS is equal to 200 divided by S into S plus 2 and S plus 10. First thing that you will have to ensure is that uh, this example, this expression is written in time constant form or not. So in order to write this, this in time constant form, you will be writing this in this manner. So 2 into 10 s. This becomes 1 plus 0 0.5 s. And this becomes 1 plus 0 0.1 s. So this becomes the time constant form. Time constant form. So after writing this in time constant form, then you'll have to obtain this and as a frequency function by substituting. S equal to J omega. This gives G J omega as 200 divided by 20 J omega 1 plus 0 0.5 J omega and then you have the denominator side 1 plus 0.1 j omega for the simplifying this get g j omega as you get 10 over s 1 plus 0 0.5 j omega 1 plus 0.1 j omega Now the next step is to obtain the corner frequencies. Corner frequencies are those frequencies at which the curve, the decibel curve would be taking turn. So this, uh, these corner frequencies are obtained from the expressions of type like this. So these expressions will be giving you corner frequencies. So let us now compute the corner frequency from the expression 1 plus 0.5 g omega. The corner frequency comes out to be the first corner frequency. We will be having two corner fre frequencies because we have two such expressions. So the first corner frequency uh, will be equal to, and uh, let's not write the uh, surfaces yet because we don't know which corner frequency is smaller and which is larger. So let us say omega c and omega c. So this will be having two corner frequencies, one of which will be larger will be taken as omega c1 and the other which will be, uh, sorry, the larger will be taken as omega c2 and the smaller will be taken as omega c1. So omega c is computed by the expression of 1 upon t. So 1 upon t means this expression is 1 upon 1 plus j omega t. So if you compare this, this is what? 
this expression is 1 plus j omega t. So you identified t as 0 0.5. So t comes out to be, uh, sorry, I written this, I think, beyond uh, the scope of visibility. So omega c and omega c, the two corner frequencies, one is 1 upon t, which is 1 upon 0 0.5. This becomes 2 radians per second and the other is 1 upon 0 0.1 which is 10 radians per second. So these are the two corner frequencies where the curve will be taking turn and it's better if you mark them because you computed. So if you assume this point, let us say we assume this point as 0 0.1. Of course there, there's something that I want to tell you about semi log paper is uh, that it comprises of a scales the x axis corresponds to scales which is not linear as is visible from the uh, graph so here are some uh, decimals written 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and they are not evenly distributed so because this is not uh, the linear axis this is in fact the logarithmic axis well, the x-axis is, is the linear axis. So, this would be, the this division would be in terms of centimeter. So this is one centimeter. This is again one centimeter. While the x-axis corresponds to uh, divisions which are known as decades. So, this gap or this range from 1 to 10 will be termed as decade. So this will become one decade. Well, if you start from this point to the next, uh, this in fact would be if you start from one at this point, this becomes 10. So this, if this is one, this becomes 10, this becomes 100, this becomes 1000. So this was a graph paper that I downloaded from internet from www.printablepaper.net so if you purchase this graph paper from uh, the shop you will find divisions to be mentioned either from 1 or 0.1 and the subsequent values will be increasing multiplied by 10 so you would find the divisions like 1 10 100 thousand or 0.11 10 100 and so on and moreover you will be finding uh, the range of the graph on x-axis not three decades like this will be having a uh, range up till five decades if you purchase it from the shop but unfortunately they are closed now so if you start from this point and you move to this value so this corresponds to two decades likewise you have in total in this graph paper three decades so this would be a limitation in drawing graph because we have a range of only uh, three decades here so uh, in Bode plot when you draw the db plot the db graph versus omega you will be talking in terms of sc scales like you will be having slope like 20 db per decade or 40 db per decade or minus 20 db per decade minus 40 db per decade minus 60 db per decade and so on so i'll explain you in this problem that how do you draw such plots how do you draw such slopes? Uh, in fact, how do you draw Bode plots?
So now we first compute the uh, values, of, values for dB, the expression for dB, which is given as dB equal to 20 log of, sorry, before computing dB, we will first compute uh, the magnitude of g j omega. So the first task is to compute, to compute the magnitude or gain that is g j omega which we call as the magnitude or gain instead we call this as magnitude this can be computed from the concept that you learned in previous in previous years so this comes out to be 10 upon so if you look in, uh, into this expression this will give you magnitude so this becomes 10 over there is a correction that I observe here so you have a value of s which was missed to be written as g omega so this becomes 10, 10 upon omega under root 1 plus 0 0.5 omega square and then again another expression which would which would be multiplied as 0 0.1 omega square So this is magnitude uh, g j omega 10 over omega into under root 1 plus 0.5 omega square into 1 plus 0.1 omega square. From this expression what you get as phase is g j omega equal to, so this can be assumed to be 10 plus j 0. So this becomes, this gives 10 inverse 0 upon 10 with the positive sign because this is in the numerator for the expressions in the denominator for example j omega so this j omega can be written as 0 plus j omega so this will give with the negative sign 10 inverse so this is 1 upon 0 minus 10 inverse 0 and uh, sorry this is omega upon 0 10 inverse 0 0.5 omega upon 1 and again minus 10 inverse 0 0.1 omega upon 1 so you obtain angle gg omega as 10 inverse of 0 upon 10 which is 0 minus 10 inverse omega upon 0 which is uh, minus pi by 2 this will get minus pi by 2 and then minus 10 inverse 0 0.5 omega upon 1 minus 10 inverse 0 0.1 omega upon 1 so positive sign come from the terms which are in the numerator while negative sign come from the terms which are in the denominator so you get phase g j omega if you further simplify this you get this as 0 minus pi by 2 or minus 90 degree minus 10 inverse 0 0.5 omega minus 10 inverse 0 0.1 omega now we'll try to compute the db values using equation this one So this will give us the db value. So if you see the previous slides, you will find that db was written as 20 log and magnitude jj 
होने का सिंस मैग्नीट्यूड इज गिवन बाय दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो वी गेट डी बी एस and this of course is the, the base of log is 10 so you get 20 log to the base 10 the magnitude is 10 over omega under root 1 plus 0 0.5 omega square and 1 plus 0 0.1 omega square So further simplifying this gives 20 log to the base 10 of 10 minus 20 log to the base 10 omega minus 20 log 10 under root 1 plus 0 0.5 omega square. And again, another expression minus 20 log base 10 under root 1 plus 0 0.1 omega square. So let us assume this equation as 1. Now in order to plot this expression, we will first look into the uh, slopes and intercept. So if you see this expression, the expression of dB, and if I, I will try to first I can, uh, obtain the graph for dB. So I, uh, I have computed corner frequencies omega c and omega c and forgot to write uh, the suffix 1 or 2. So since 2 radians per second is smaller than 10 radians per second. So this frequency will occur then before this. So we will call this frequency as 1 and this one as omega c 2. And after uh, obtaining the corner frequencies, the next task is to mark them on the graph paper. So it's all up to you to start from the point as 0 0.1 or 1. So let us start from uh, 1. Or rather 0 0.1. Because it would be uh, easier to justify your graph. So let's say we assume this point as 0 0.1. And one thing more, what, whatever frequency you choose on the dB axis, of omega axis the same frequency will be chosen for the graph of phi so if you're going to choose this as 0 0.1 then this will be also 0 0.1 if you're going to choose this as 1 then you'll bound, you are bound to choose this as 1 so there is some reason we choose the same frequencies that will be discussed when we talk about the <coughs> stability and instability of the systems. <coughs> 
so if you choose this as 0.1 then after uh, a gap of one decade <coughs> so this point this becomes one and again after one decade you get 10 then one more decade you get 100 so if you would have more gap more uh, scope ahead then you can talk about having and uh, thousand and ten thousand and so on so coming back to this expression if you see this expression you'll see db can further be written as as we talk about this expression if omega we assume that omega is much less than two radians per second the first corner frequency that we encounter so the first corner frequency is somewhere at this point so this is the first corner frequency which is omega c1 equal to 2 the next corner frequency is 10 so this is omega c2 which is 10 So if you talk about frequencies much less than 2, so this is the first corner frequency. For example, let's say we take omega 0 0.1 and you put this value 0 0.1 in this expression. So you will observe that terms like this. So this term, if you put omega as 0 0.1, what you get is 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.1 this gets 0 0.05 and you square it then you get a smaller number compared to 1 so what we do is for values of omega much less than 2 we say that this value turns out to be 0 likewise again for this expression if you put omega equal to 0.1 or omega values of omega much less than 2 this term also turns out to be 0 so for omega much less than 2 what you get is db will be equal to 20 log to the base 10 10 minus 20 log base 10 omega so this is the reduced expression that would we would be getting and as i told you in the slides that body plots are just approximation so they are asymptotic plots they are not the real plot so you'll be having a straight line approximation of the actual plot in order to obtain the actual plot for this uh, uh, expression for this example so you'll have to go to the computers for example matlab so matlab will be giving you the actual plot so you won't be having uh, sharp turns like what you're going to get in this case if you plot them on the computers you'll be seeing smoother plots So if you now look at this expression, what you see is you, you, you will be getting an intercept and the slope. So this axis is db, I told you, and this is decade. So the slopes would be in terms of db per decade. So now we'll try to find the intercept and uh, the slope of this line, this curve. So if you look at this, let, let first simplify it more. So this gets 20 log to the base 10 log 10 is log uh, gets 1. So this is 20 minus 20 log to the base 10 omega. And now if you compare this with the expression y equal to mx plus c. So if you compare this with this value, what you see is, so db becomes y, y axis, the intercept is 20 the slope now uh, an important task and you what you have to remember is to identify x well if you look into the graph you will see that the x axis is omega so here x is in fact not omega rather log to the base 10 omega so this is because omega would have been x if you would have talked about linear scale on horizontal axis so since you're not talking about linear scale, rather you're talking about logarithmic scale. So in fact, what you're showing on the uh, graph paper is not 
actually omega on graph this is log of omega so this decade is the scale of logarithm it's not linear scale so this graph on the x-axis inherently accompanies the uh, essence of log log of omega so in fact this x-axis the x values for this uh, horizontal axis are not omega rather log to the base 10 omega and thus the slope of this curve would be minus 20 so the slope comes out for the first curve is minus 20 db per decade where the intercept c corresponds to 20 so now you got two values the intercept and the uh, slope slope of the curve so how do you mark the intercept so suppose that I take omega as 10 omega if I take omega as 10 so log of 10 would reduce to 1 for omega equal to 10 which means that db at omega equal to 10 would be 20 minus 20 or 0 so we forgot to mark the vertical axis initially so let us take this as so this is 0 this becomes let's say this is 10 db this is 20 db 30 db 40 50 so let us make things clear here. So this is 0 db, 10 db, 20, 30, 40, 40. So you get from this first expression db equal to 20 if you put omega equal to 10. So omega equal to 10 corresponds to this value. So at omega equal to 10, <coughs> you, you are going to get an intercept somewhere at this point. Which means that if I stretch the curve from this point 10, having a slope minus 20 dB per decade. So how do I identify the slope minus 20 dB per decade? So I told you that this point is 1 decade and here you have 0, 10, 20 dB. So minus 20 dB per decade would be the line starting from 20 and drawn till 1. So slope of this line, this curve would be minus 20 db per decade likewise a curve that starts from point 40 and meets this point at omega equal to 1 will be having a slope of minus 40 db per decade and the positive slope can also be drawn uh, according to this method now what we have to do is to draw a line having a slope of minus 20 db per decade that will meet omega equal to 10 at db equal to 0 at this particular point. So let us now draw this curve and remember that you talked about frequencies omega much less than 2. So you will be stretching the curve starting from, you will be having a curve 
at this point having slope minus 20 db per decade so i drew a line which is parallel to minus 20 db per decade and will meet omega equal to 10 at db equal to 0 so the slope of this line comes out to be minus 20 db per decade and remember that you talked about frequency omega much less than 2 so you'll be stretching this curve you'll be drawing the curve only till omega less than, or up till omega equal to 2 which means that the part of curve so you will be drawing the curve up till omega equal to 2 only now we talk about the second part of this curve where omega is greater than 2 but is less than the second corner frequency 10 so for omega lying between 2 and 10 if i look into the expression i think i erased the simplified expression of db so let's rewrite it so db was given as 20 log to the base 10 of 10 minus 20 log to the base 10 omega minus 20 log to the base 10 under root 1 plus 0.5 omega minus 20 log to the base 10 under root 1 plus 0.5 omega square minus 20 log to the base 10 under root this was 1 point omega square 1 plus 0.1 omega square so for omega lying between 2 and 10 we get db equal to 20 log to the base 10, uh, 10 is 20 minus 20 log base 10 omega and this particular expression which was eliminated previously now reappears for omega greater than 2 because now you cannot eliminate this expression for um, uh, values of omega larger than 2 so this expression reappears and will be written for omega larger than 2 while this particular expression reduces to 0 so we are assuming because if you put omega equal to 2 here you get 0.2 square which is 0 0.04 so we assume that 0 0.04 is, compared to 1 is negligible so this particular term then gets 0 in fact it's not actually uh, exactly zero it will be close to zero so we assume since i told you that uh, body plots are asymptotic plots they are uh, approximate plots not actual ones so we approximate this value to be zero for omega less than 10. so this expression turns out to be zero now if you look at this particular expression you will for you will now have to identify the slope of this curve and of course this this curve will be starting from the point where you left the previous curve at omega c1 equal to 2 so this curve will be starting at this point but you'll have to identify at what slope this curve has to be drawn so if you look at this expression you'll find the terms with omega there are two terms one is this one the second is this one so if you look at this particular term which has a root as well as a square over omega so this term will be having an effect of omega 
since omega is a square inside a root so the effect would be very close to omega so this is the effect of this term will be minus 20 log of omega so this is minus 20 db per decade this is minus 20 db per decade so the overall slope would come out to be minus 40 db per decade because if you're going to add these two terms you, you learned about log scales we know that if you have log of 20 log of x plus 20 log of x this becomes 40 log of x so since i am saying that this particular expression has an effect of omega similar to this one so their overall slope will come out to be minus 40 db per decade so now you have to draw a line minus 40 db per decade which which would be extended from this point and up to omega c to equal to 10 because you're talking about frequencies lying between 2 and 10 so you'll be drawing a curve which will be having a slope of minus 40 db per decade and minus 40 db per decade as i told you was the curve having slope this much so this was minus 40 db per decade so we'll be drawing a curve we'll be drawing a uh, line from this point parallel to this curve and will be extended up till omega c2 equal to 10 so let's try to draw a line parallel to this curve starting from this point so this is the required curve for omega lying between 2 and 10 so let's try the slope this is minus 20 db per decade this is minus 40 db per decade and again the final when you talk about omega greater than 10 so since there is no uh, no since there is not much space so it's calling problem reading again and again things so now we talk about omega greater than 10 in this case the, the expression which was assumed to be zero will reappear so this becomes 20 log 20 minus 20 log base 10 omega minus 20 log under root base 10 1 plus 0.5 omega square minus 20 log so this expression which was uh, in both the cases previous cases was assumed zero now will reappear so this is 1 plus 0.1 omega square so i guess now there would be no uh, trouble in drawing this line now so if you look at this expression the slope of this line will now become minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 which is minus 60 db per decade will be drawn from the point where the previous curve was left at omega c t equal omega c2 equal to 10 where at this point you'll have to extend a line which will be having minus 60 db per decade 
So the 9 minus 60 dB per decade will be this line. So you'll have to draw a line parallel to this line. stretching out from this particular point. Uh, this minus 40 db for the tape. This is minus 60, this is minus 20. The slope of this curve is minus 60 db per decade so this is the required Bode magnitude plot then now we'll have to draw phase plot we now draw the phase plot which is comparatively easier to draw as the plot of db so we obtain the expression for phase given here so what we will be doing is we simply have to uh, make a table with omega in one column and angle g the omega in the other and what we will be doing is Let's do this part at the top. We'll be getting more space. We'll be drawing a table comprising of omega and angle g j omega so drawing the phase plot is comparatively easier what i will be doing is i will be choosing values of omega randomly which would be lying between 0 0.1 which was the x x the first point we chose on x axis and the last point that we choose so let us take omega let's take this point as 0.1 so you'll be choosing values of omega which uh, should be uh, greater than or equal to this particular point where you're starting your border plot and let's choose another value as 1 and let's choose as 5 10 100 you can choose any other values lying in between them and then we'll be computing angle gj omega so corresponding to 0 0.1 if you use calculator you get this as minus 90 minus 10 inverse of 0 0.5 into 0 0.1 minus 10 inverse of 0.1 into 0 0.1 so according to me it comes out to be minus 93.4 degrees for omega equal to 1 if I put one here then I get minus 90 minus 10 inverse of 0.5 into 1 minus 10 inverse of 0.1 into 1 which comes out to be minus 122.3 degrees now again if I put omega as 5 I get this as minus 184.7 degrees for omega equal to 10 I obtain this value as minus 213.7 degrees and so on so Let's just compute these four points and we'll try to plot uh, uh, the graph. And remember one thing that the phase plot 
has the reference axis not as 0 rather as minus 180 degrees so this reference is always chosen as minus 180 degrees not 0 and now we'll be marking the points that we identified corresponding to the uh, corresponding to each variable of omega so point 1 for omega equal to point 1 I identified so if this is minus 180 let's choose this difference to be uh, let's say this has difference of choose this uh, the difference to be of 22.5 degrees so this particular point gets minus 90 degree then you have minus 22 uh, 22.5 degrees then 22.5 this is 45 degrees so this point comes out to be minus 90 minus 45 degrees so this is minus 135 degrees so minus 180 degree then again you have one more one minus 145 added to this minus 45 added okay this is minus 225 degrees and so on and now again we mark the values corresponding to omega different values of omega so for point 1 you get value of minus 93.4 degrees so if this is 22.5 12.5 and 93.5 would be marked somewhere here so this corresponds to minus 93.4 degrees so to draw to, to to mark that point accurately you would be having a magnified version of the graph which is very difficult to uh, do at this point of time so now we'll mark the next point as minus 122.3 degrees so minus 20 122 would be lying somewhere So the next point corresponding to omega equal to 1 which is this value this is omega equal to 1 so at this point you'll be marking minus 122.3 that minus 122.3 would be somewhere here likewise for omega equal to 5 so omega equal to 5 corresponds to point is to plus 5 at this point so at omega equal to 5 you have a value of minus 184.7 degrees so this will be this point will be uh, below the reference axis somewhere at this location and for omega equal to 10 you get the point minus 213.7 so this would this point will lie somewhere in this region so as I told you before that since I have a printable uh, graph which was uh, not not quite large compared to one which is available in the market so if you somehow are able to get this graph so you'll see that uh, that particular graph is quite wider and longer compared to this one so in this particular graph you don't have much space to draw and if you somehow are able to get that graph I would suggest to do so so using the, these points we will be drawing a curve free-handed so this will be a free-handed drawing starting from this point and connecting all other points that we obtained so this is the required phase plot. 